Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at how to calculate the average rate of change from a graph, from a straight line. Uh, first of all, uh, this is our linear model. And uh, everybody learned in pre-algebra uh, the so-called the slope y-intercept form of linear equation. Uh, basically, these two have exactly the same structure. So let's do a quick comparison uh, first. Uh, in this uh, slope y-intercept form, we have y on one side by itself. So this is the output, the output variable. Output. And we have x and everything else on the right-hand side. This x is the input variable. Variable. <laughs> input variable, and this uh, this b is just a number. So we have a number in front of input variable, which is the slope of the line that is represented by this uh, linear equation. And this standing along number is called the y-intercept. Now, if you look at this, uh, this linear model, we have exactly the same structure. So this is our future value. We also can call it uh, the output variable. And this n is our input variable. By the way, the output variable is also called a dependent variable. And the input variable is also called independent variable. And apparently our growth rate is the number in front of your input variable, just like the slope is the number in front of the input variable in the slope of y in the side form of linear equation. In other words, and these two are equivalent. The slope in the slope of y in the side form is equivalent to our growth rate. And um, we also call it the average rate of change, uh, just another name for the slope. And uh, also, this uh, standing along number in our linear model is the initial value. It is equivalent to the y intercept in this uh, slope y intercept form. So, this uh, b y intercept is our initial value. So this, this is our conclusion, right, from this comparison. Now, in order to calculate the slope of a line, because the linear model's graph is a straight line. Look at this word, linear, the first four letters. So the graph is a straight line. Now, in order to calculate the slope of straight line, we need to have two points from that line. So if you have two points, by connecting these two points, you get a straight line, and this line is unique. There's no second line that can go through the same two points. And that is why having two points, we have enough information to calculate the slope of the line that goes through these two points. And the formula to calculate the slope of a line from these two points is this. So these are the two points. You're gonna use y value minus y value, put it on the top, x value minus x value and put it on the bottom. Again, x represents the input, y represents the output. In other words, output minus output divided by input minus input. And also, uh, uh, you need to be aware of this. It doesn't matter which y minus which y, as long as you do it consistently. consistently. For example, if you use y2 minus y1, on the bottom, you use x2 minus, minus x1. On the top, if you use y1 minus y2, on the bottom, you're gonna use x1 minus x2. Either way, you're gonna get the same value, okay? Now, let's look at our example here. We have two questions here. From this graph, find the average rate of change as a fraction. Why is a fraction? Because that's how we calculate the slope, which is also called the average rate of change. You're gonna have a fraction naturally. 
So now, in order to calculate the slope using this formula, we need to identify two points from this line. Okay, from this line. In theory, any two points from this same line will give you the same slope. And but we want to calculate the slope accurately, and that is why we need to identify those special two points where we can read the coordinates very accurately. So to me, this point and this point, these are the, our special two points. Again, any two points will do the job, but you want to identify those points that can give you accurate reading uh, of the coordinates. So this one is a zero, zero. And this one is a four and a one. Remember, I always uh, write this as a pair of numbers in the order of input and output. Uh, input is always on the horizontal axis, Y uh, output always on the Y axis, vertical axis. So horizontal uh, coordinate for this point is four. Vertical one is one, four and one. Now having these two points, we have enough information to calculate the slope, uh, also called average, uh, average rate of change, also growth rate in our linear model. So y minus y is top number minus bottom number. It doesn't matter the, the order, you just need to be consistent again. This one from top to the bottom, zero minus four. So I get a negative y over negative four, negative divided by negative is positive. So final answer is one quarter. So that's our answer. Positive slope representing uh, going up from left to the right, okay, increasing. Now, second question is, what is the unit of the average rate of change? So what is the unit of this number? That's why we emphasize uh, the number on the top in this formula as the outputs, okay? The numbers on the bottom as the inputs. So what is the outputs? Output is always on uh, vertical axis or y axis. Uh, for us, for this particular example, that is inch. So we are gonna have inch on the top, then slash, and uh, what is on the bottom in terms of unit? Hours. So the unit is inch per hour. I'll put it in here, inch per hour. So that's all for this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one.